Bitcoin and mining are going to deliver an increased degree of sovereignty, not only to individuals, but to entire nations. Today, we are living in an energy financial system that is unsustainable. It must and will be substituted by a new one that is going to pay an unexpected peace dividend. My name is David Orban and this is The Context. You hear from many different places that Bitcoin mining is wasteful, it is damaging the environment, and this is completely misguided. The current system we live under is based on oil extraction and the transportation of oil uh, all across the world. It costs two trillion dollars of military subsidies per year on the side of the United States alone. And it is undermining the sovereignty of nations that are exposed to the uneven distribution of energy resources that are the basis of all of their activities and abilities to support themselves and to make their residents thrive. Bitcoin mining represents the start of a new planet-wide energy financial network that is radically different. First of all, renewable energy is the cheapest source everywhere to an increasing degree and unstoppably so because its costs are still declining at a rapid place. The availability of renewable energy um, is increasing with the deployment of solar farms, of wind farms, of hydro, and of course batteries, and Bitcoin mining can be thought of as a battery transforming uh, energy into direct uh, financial assets. These financial assets can be moved uh, freely across the world and then at their place of arrival potentially be transformed into available energy again. The network that renewable energy coupled with Bitcoin mining designs is evenly distributed. Yes, of course, there are regions that uh, have uh, more uh, insulation, more solar radiation hitting them, um, and there are regions that have more wind uh, power available, for example. The first are more uh, uh, towards the equatorial regions of the planet, and the second are more in the northern regions of the planet. Bitcoin mining also can connect in this global network energy sources that were previously uneconomical uh, to develop because they were not connected to the grid. There are many megawatts, dozens of megawatts of hydropower, for example, that are currently mothballed that can be put to use uh, using Bitcoin mining. Individuals can uh, build their uh, wealth and financial independence by accumulating uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Uh, and many people have been doing this for the past 10 years. And it is not too late. Anyone can still start doing it and do it for the next 10 years. But it is the same for nation-states. Nation-states can start holding Bitcoin on their balance sheets. The United States famously is doing the opposite. When it is, uh, for example, taking possession of Bitcoin 
in uh, operations against certain criminal activities rather than keeping that Bitcoin and putting that uh, on its balance sheet, it is auctioning the Bitcoin off. Famously, uh, Tim Draper uh, acquired uh, the Bitcoin uh, that the United States uh, held as a consequence of dismantling Silk Road and he made billions of dollars of gains uh, as a consequence of winning that auction. Which is the smartest nation in the world? Well, you could think El Salvador, but actually it is Bulgaria. Bulgaria have been uh, accumulating and keeping Bitcoin on its balance sheet for some time, and today it is at a point where it can or could, if it wanted to, pay its national debt off. But rather than doing that, Bulgaria is looking at the interest payments in fiat in servicing its debt, and it is looking at the progressive appreciation of its Bitcoin holdings. Uh, and comparing the two, it says, well, I will just huddle, I will keep Bitcoin. More and more nations are going to do the same. If you think about it, today's world is such that even though theoretically nations are sovereign, in practice their sovereignty is severely limited. All of the European nations, for example, gave up control over their own currency. Most of the time their local laws are mandated by the European Union. But the EU itself is exposed to natural gas supplies from Russia. And in case of increased tensions, there's always a conversation about whether Russia is going to shut uh, the uh, gas conducts, hurting itself in the process for sure, but hurting Europe even more. And if you pay attention, these conversations uh, around whatever crisis that appears to be the source of the increased tension start in winter. Because of course, it is in winter that gas used for heating is most important in Europe. In the new Bitcoin, energy and financial network evenly distributed across the world, nations which are smart are going to improve their own sovereignty, they are going to improve the degrees of freedom of their residents, and they are going to lead the planet towards a sustainable future where people and organizations can sustainably thrive. Thank you very much for listening, for watching this episode of The Context. If you like it, you can support my work directly on Patreon at patreon.com slash davidormann.